Hello everybody with Tams here and today is another day, another video and another tutorial too. Okay, let's go to the tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you a tutorial how you play with a controller on the Xbox based game. So basically it's a PC game but it's based on Xbox uh, or a Xbox game that ports to PC. Okay, whatever. For this example, oh wait, wait, the first thing you need is a controller, of course, it's a stupid requirement, okay? And the second one, you have to download the X360 controller emulator that I've already put the download link on the description below, you should check it, okay? So after you download it, you will find it like this. You open it with WinRAR or WinZip, it's up to you. You don't need to extract it, just open it now. Okay, for example, I'm gonna play with... Naruto Ultimate in the Storm 4. Okay, let's try with this game. Okay. Now you back to the file. And then you extract it on the same folder as the executable file is located. To the exe file is located, not the main folder. Don't get it wrong, okay? Oh. Okay, it's located on the main folder, by the way. So I just put it on the same thing. You don't need okay. Now you need to do is just open it. Then you'll see it pop up like this. Yes, yes, sure, whatever, yeah. Quit it, just quit it. Then it will appear up pop nah. Sometimes it's helpful, but sometimes it's gone completely wrong. So I'm gonna show you the manual configuration. I'll show you the manual. Just cancel it, yes, okay. Now go to the controller you want to config. I want to configure my controller one. First, you go with auto. Yes, yes, come on. Then after it turn green, then you can already record it by yourself by pressing this triangle. Then record. But first, if you see your controller is already same and equivalent as the layout displayed. You don't need to config it again, but I have a something wrong right now. I press the left bumper, it says left trigger, so we must record it. Just record. Record and press the same button and your controller as it's the red clipping. Okay? Not the left bumper. Do it until it's all completely right. Okay. You see? All of them is configured nicely and equivalent as my gamepad. I use a uh, twin USB joy stick you see. After that just save it and close it. Of course okay for some game for an Xbox One game you need to change the X input one underscore three to X input nine underscore one underscore zero but sometimes you don't need to change it too. So you need what you need to do is just play the game first. If it's not working, then change the X input one underscore three like this, okay? Nine underscore one underscore zero answer and refresh. Then let's go play the game. But before that I'm gonna record my gameplay first because this is a different I don't know when the game is so complicated. Let's uh, start it first, okay. Okay guys, we are on the game. Let's see if my tutorial is worked. Because you know it's not easy to make a video in English video while I'm not an English user. What the? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. I press A. Please, you work. Okay, it's work. I start. Yes! Damn, it's work for me. So that it will work for you. Okay guys. So that is the tutorial, a very simple tutorial I think. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you something again. Okay, for, on the last, if you cannot open the app, the X360 Control Emulator apps, I think you must install the DirectX Runtime first. You can download in the Microsoft site, okay? The DirectX Runtime is need for this app. You have to download it by yourself. On the Microsoft site, just type the DirectX Runtime. Okay, so. 
Okay guys, so today this is a video, a simple tutorial I think, not a hard tutorial. If you have your problem or you miss, if you have your problem and you can do the tutorial and it's not work for you, just put it on the comment down below and I will answer it to you as I can. And thank you for watching, at least to dance here.